society deems ABDL as not normal behavior. So today let's talk about what is considered normal in society and change normal and not normal to maybe understanding and acceptance. But before we get into that, it's time to be shameful. So like and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, back to our regular scheduled program. Back in the day, someone who had a tattoo was considered very much taboo and not normal. And those that had tattoos were considered to be unsafe individuals to be around. Like they say, a stain on one's body is like a stain on their character. Now tattoos are considered a form of art, a form of self-expression. The people who give tattoos are considered artists within their own right. You know, when stick figures become a thing, I'll be rolling bucks, you know, then. But until then, we will leave that to the professionals. So as little as 50 years ago, tattoos were considered not normal and taboo. But today, they're just as normal as women wearing pants. Speaking of that, yes, back in the day, women wearing pants was considered not normal and very taboo. Women were not allowed to wear pants pretty much throughout the most of recorded history. At one point, it was actually illegal for women to wear pants. And I think it was 1923, I think, when the government stepped in and declared that it was okay for women to wear pants. Speaking of females and women, biblically speaking, women were not allowed to be leaders of the church. Now, we have women who are pastors and ministers and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with, uh, with the males. So what's not normal today can be normal tomorrow. It's important to know that normal is actually a complex concept. What's considered standard or normal can vary greatly across cultures, context, and individuals. I get told not as often as I used to, but I get told by those whose opinions I could really care less about that me wearing a diaper and being in little space was not normal behavior for someone my age. Well, if that's the case, then do I really want to be normal? But in, instead of framing things in terms of what's normal versus what's not normal, I think a more productive approach might be exploring the reasons behind someone's personal preferences and how they are expressed in a consensual, safe, and respectful manner. This will allow for a broader understanding and appreciation for human diversity without resorting to potentially judgmental behavior. While I do understand the curiosity behind the question of what is normal and what's not normal, the term normal can be limited and potentially harmful. I mean, let's face it, again, normal is a subjective term. Wearing diapers for me is as normal as getting out of bed. Being ABDL is as normal to me as taking a shower or eating. What is normal? What is not normal? Who the hell knows? Because it changes from decade to decade, from year to year, month to month, day to day, week to week, and hell, it can change from minute to minute. There was somebody that I used to know that I used to be friends with, an ex-friend, I guess you would say, who gave me all kinds of grief and stuff for being ABDL. And he came over and would talk to me and talk to me until, you know, he was blue in the face about me being in the wrong and not having the proper behavior for somebody my age. And how could I be in diapers? And he can't be friends with somebody in diapers. Well, recently he got introduced to the kink of diaper wearing through some hookup, I guess, with some girl that he was with and decided that it was something that he he really enjoyed. So he was a diaper lover and then started dabbling into ABDL and contacted me wanting to rekindle our friendship. I told him, you rejected me as a friend for being ABDL years ago and that he can't come back into my life and expect us to be friends again just because he discovered his enjoyment of wearing diapers. Just because he considers it normal now doesn't wash away all the hatred he had for me. So what he considered not normal then is now normal for him now. 
that happens to a lot of people. So instead of focusing on what's normal and what's not normal, let's shift the conversation towards understanding and acceptance. Everyone has unique preferences and experiences that shape their individuality. As long as these expressions are consensual, respectful, and not hurting them or anyone, anyone else, they deserve to be acknowledged and valued just as well as anybody else. It is important to remember that judging or shaming someone for their preferences, regardless of how different they may, may seem, can lead to discrimination and exclusion. Open communication, empathy, and the willingness to learn about diverse experiences can make this world more inclusive and respectful. Ultimately, what matters most is being true to oneself and respecting the choices of others. Let's face it, people just need to realize that people are different. Your religious beliefs are different than mine, or could be different than mine. That's okay. We can still communicate. We can still be civil. We can still be friends. Your political views might be different than mine. Your life as ABDL might be different than mine. Your lifestyle might be different than mine. And that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still be civil to each other without throwing daggers at each other for every little thing that they disagree with. We can have a difference of opinion and that's fine. When we realize people are different and everybody's entitled to have their own beliefs, their own opinion of things, then everyone can feel safe and empowered to be their authentic selves. So there you have it. That's my two cents. So like, subscribe, and until the next video, stay little, stay happy.